Hello everyone. Today we are breaking down everything you need to know about leveling your Centauri carbon. But first, why does Centauri carbon need leveling in the first place? Here's why. For those familiar with FDM printing, you know that the first layer is absolutely crucial. It can make or break your entire print. Sometimes, if the nozzle is too far from the bed, you encounter issues like the first layer not adhering to the platform, or even forming spaghetti. On the other hand, if the nozzle is too close, you're looking at potential clogs or worse, damage to the print surface and hot end. There are many reasons why these issues might occur. For example, you might switch to the reverse side of the print bed without releveling, which can throw off the calibration entirely. Pressing the build plate or printing for a long time might also result in slight misalignments. To prevent these problems, we recommend regularly enabling the leveling feature. This ensures consistent and accurate levels for every print. We've made the leveling effortless. Simply tick the level option before starting your print to include leveling in the process. Alternatively, you can access leveling from the calibration menu whenever you need it. The calibration function on the Centauri Carbon is not only convenient but also powerful. During the process, the nozzle touches down on 121 points across a print bed, equipped with four string gates. Using the results, Centauri Carbon generates a bed mesh for precise compensation across all 121 points. On top of that, it automatically adjusts the Z offset to ensure an optimal distance between the bed and the nozzle. Let's put that freshly leveled surface to the test and see how it handles the first layer. Here's to printing the perfect first layer and every layer after that.